Hi, I'm Rick Pavo. I'm a candidate for re-election to the Fall River School Committee. Let me first off start by thanking the Fall River Community Television for allowing me to come into your homes and businesses today. Two years ago, you gave me the opportunity to serve on the school committee. And that time, I had promised that I would work very hard on your behalf in bringing in a balanced budget as well as increased student performance. As I speak to you today, I'm happy to report that over the last two years, we have had a balanced budget. In fact, this year's budget came in with a $612,000 surplus, which we have applied to the 2012 school budget year. I was also very instrumental and tedious in my approach to have a business manager appointed to a position that would over control and overlook the budget on a daily basis. We have hired a gentleman to do that. And subsequently, our financial house is in order. Second uh, time I had spoken to you, I'd asked for your, your support in how we increase the performance of our students. This year, our MCAS shows that we have improved, not to a level that I am satisfied with, because I believe we are unable to sustain the successes we have reached in the past. To give you an example, our yearly annual increase uh, for last year was in the area of mathematics. Our AYP this year was in the area of math language arts. We've lost our position in math and increased our position in language arts. We need to do more work to be sure that we increase both of those areas so the school districts and the schools reach their annual yearly progress. It hasn't been an easy job. It's been a job that has taken much time on behalf of the entire school committee. I am chairman of the subcommittee on policy. And over the last two years, as dictated by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, we develop a policy manual. I was very instrumental in getting that instrument up on the table and approved. That's the instrument that's going to guide and direct the school system in years to come. Along with that mandate from the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education was to provide the school committee members with a handbook. I'm happy to tell you that we were able to succeed in that area as well. That handbook was delivered and approved to the school committee last month. Again, that will be a guide for all school committee me members, either present or future, to refer to and show how they can guide themselves during a committee meeting and the areas that they will re be responsible for. I am asking you once again to look at me as a viable candidate for re-election to the school committee. I believe with my experience as a formal educator of 38 years, starting as an elementary school teacher, working my way up to the ranks of superintendent. I believe I can bring a unique and prosperous vision to the school committee. I once again humbly request your support for the, my re-election to the school committee on November the 8th, and I thank you very much for this opportunity to speak with you today.